Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of our fast. And today started out a little earlier, but still kind of slow. Now I went to bed reading this book and I woke up reading this book. This, I, I, I'm making myself put this book down because honestly, at this rate, I'll be done in another couple of days. I am on, uh, what chapter am I on? Chapter 12. I'm on chapter 12. And like I said, it took everything in me. I fell asleep reading this book. This is a really good book. And what's interesting is there's a lot of things in here that is so relatable to me. And I'm like, this is weird. And not just me, me, but like my life. And like, for example, the mother name is Isabel. The daughter name is Grace. Um, the father name is Henry. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, but because y'all should know by now, Isabella Grace, that's my daughter's name. And even the characters and their role, it's like, that's so weird. Um, and the father, Henry, that's my father's middle name. I'm sorry. Yeah, my father's middle name. And I, that's also Jay's middle name. But again, don't even, it's not even just about the names. We say, okay, names are common, but it's their personality and everything. And it's like, that's so weird. That's so weird. But anyway, even besides that, it's a really, really good book. Like really, really good book. And now I'm certain and sure that is a Christian, it's a Christian author and she is a Christian and she grew up in a Christian family. And she said, there are some bits and pieces from her life, but overall it's fiction. So it's fiction. But, um, it's hot today. Okay, so I need to force myself to read this. I'm going to do that sometime later. I haven't read any Bible yet. That's why I said I messed up because, you know, the fiction books come later. But I am reading nonfiction now. Um, the Church and History. Um, I got to some interesting points where Bishop comes from, like the origin of that. An elder, so I'm just like awesome. So very easy read, and I'm learning a lot. And this will probably be a book that I will read and reread and reread again. Um, let me go back. Okay, my annotating. Okay, so I finally came up with the code for my fiction books. So I'm not stuck it in here since I'm not gonna annotate the book from the library because then I have to take it all out. But for yellow is God and scripture. Or any reference to Bible, you know, angels, uh, Satan, anything like that. So anything biblical, scripture, or God. Uh, blue is relatable. So anything that reminded me of myself, my own personal life, or anything that generally will, you know, that you can relate to. Orange is discussion, which be anything that I will uh, discuss in a reading vlog or talking to you guys or anybody for that matter, if I want them to be interested in this book. Um, purple is emotional. So anything that struck a nerve or chord in me emotionally, whether it be sad, happy, mad, glad, or um, anything that I felt led to pray about or something that stuck out in me so personally that I'm like, oh, I need to pray about that. It's purple. And then pink is research or study. So anything that I'm unfamiliar with, Anything that was too complex to understand, a word I couldn't comprehend, anything that I felt led to step outside the book, whether it be Google, like my phone, or the Bible, or scripture, or something like that, um, that would be pink. So, that's for the fiction books. So, obviously, um, for my non-fiction books, um, purple would be relevant now, pink would be research, blue would be meditate. Purple be discussion, green timeless, orange reread, and red indifferent or confused. Either or. All right, so, or sinful or conviction in my nature. All right, so today, got to get into this reading. Today, I may not even touch devotions. I probably would just focus on really getting some reading done in the Bible because. You know, we add a lot of one, you don't get that much done. So, uh, I got to read Samuel 20. I started, I didn't finish. So, I'm going to finish that. Psalms 39 through 41 is still not touched. And I said I would get that done, y'all. But it's it's been interesting because 
Bella is staying up more and Jace is really sick. Like he's really, really sick. So, um, then I need to be reading Mark seven and eight, which I think I read ahead and read that already. I'm gonna check. So by the end of today, I at least want to get to Mark seven, and eight, seven, and eight of Mark. Job 27, 28, I may read that, but definitely read my Psalms, definitely, and defend the Samuel. Like, I have to do that. Because then by the time going back to where I'm supposed to be, which is, what's today? Uh, April the 14th, 13th, I'm supposed to be reading, yeah, I'm supposed to be finished with Job 29, 30, and Mark 9 and 10 will be around the corner. But anyway... So today I feel okay. Um, I did go ahead and eat because I did notice a drop in my milk supply. And I know that I'm not drinking as much either. So I am doing better in those areas. I'm trying my best to, um, I have not logged into Facebook. I did make a mistake and click on YouTube because the notifications were really huge in number. And I'm like, but then I correct click back off. Um, I also did accidentally sort of kind of needed to read a, a comment that came up in YouTube studio. And I read that, but I didn't respond to do anything else. But I just felt it was necessary to read it in case it was something important. But other than that, this is where we are. Um, I keep saying I'm going to come back after each talk. and But y'all see how that goes at night. It's just like, because then there's no lighting. I have to get the ring light and stuff. So, yeah, I'm about to uh, cut this camera off and really read. Uh, I've been meditating and praying in my mind, too, since last night. Um, a lot of uh, people are coming to my mind, and I'm just praying and talking to God and, you know, trying to rid of myself with some worries and stuff that's going on. But you guys continue to pray for me and I for you. And I will see you the next day. So I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.